So your your PC could have literally up to six cores. I don't know if there's any one core, but it's a, it's a PC that has quad. It's a quad, quad core. In this video, I'll be helping you understand PC specs a little bit better than you know. And because I'm trying to make this video on how to choose the right PC for your field, it's only right if I make and drop this video on my channel so that you can have a proper foundation of you know kind of understanding what the PC spec really is. So that when I make that video, it's going to be a lot more fun and you know easier for you to understand. Now, the specs of your computer is what makes up your computer, and those specs are of different parts and function, and that is exactly what we're going to be running around in this video. So if that interests you, do stick around, it's going to be a short one. First of all, we start with the most popular one, which is the hard drive of your computer. This is a hardware storage device, and this is where all of your personal files are stored. So it allows you to store things inside your hard drive, and at the same time, you know, lets you edit it and probably delete it or you know, mess around with it. It's the hard drive of your computer. It lets you save, you know, all your personal files. It's on your hard drive. Now there are two major types of hard drives out there. First of all, we have the SSD. Secondly, we have the HDD. Now the HDD has a mechanical arm that manually writes down file onto your hard drive as you make use of a PC or make changes to the files on the hard drive. Now as time goes on, this mechanical arm can literally start to fail, and at the same time slow down in performance when it comes to you know writing or making changes on your hard drive which means that the hard disk drives can end up getting slow as time goes on now for the ssd which is the solid state drive just also like the name implies it has a solid state mechanism which means it does not have any mechanical arm it writes down file digitally onto the hard drive and the ssd is usually more reliable and faster than the hdd and also more expensive or like the hdd which is more cheaper in price and then also common secondly we have the ram now this is also a hardware storage device but it does more than just you know storing information on your pc it's a form of temporary storage device that allows data to be received and read almost instantly so whenever you start up a program it is temporarily stored in the computer's memory instead of being written permanently you know on the hard drive so if you think ahead of me right now you should probably have understood that you know the more ram you have on your pc the sweeter your pc becomes it will now let your pc have that space to be able to multitask as much as possible so the higher ram the better your multitasking speed is the next is the VRAM or what you probably known as you know the graphics card. It is a type of RAM that works with your computer's GPU or you know graphics processing unit, specifically used to store image data for a computer display and is supposed to ensure the even and smooth execution of graphics that are being displayed on your screen. So how it works is pretty simple. From the name VRAM, it is a video RAM, so it's like a RAM that lets you store files temporarily on your PC. And now this deals with your graphics. So at the same time, the more higher your graphics card is, the more smoother you'll be able to do things. So it now lets you play with higher graphics on your pc without any problem smoothly and evenly also there are two types of graphics card firstly we have the integrated graphics card then secondly we have the dedicated now an integrated graphics card usually by intel is bound to the motherboard of your pc and then shares ram with your pc reducing the total amount of ram available for your pc to use now for the dedicated graphics card it is a distinct chip that is mounted on its own circuit board and it's typically attached to something called a pci express slot now and um, this is a hardware thing you know i don't think i don't know if you would want to go in depth on this but you know kind of understanding where the dedicated graphics card you know goes to on your pc is is a, is, is a win so it goes to a slot on your motherboard that is called a pci express one type of slot it has a higher performance than the integrated graphics card and you can have the both of them installed on a pc at the same time although the integrated will no longer work until you remove the dedicated card from your pc proceeding to the next which is the processor oh, jesus the processor is an integrated electronic circuit that performs the calculation that run a computer so it's popularly known that your pc or does not understand you know the human language it works with zeros and ones so once you press s on your keyboard it is not literally seeing x it is reading zeros and ones so the processor is what helps the pc you know do the whole calculations behind the head and you know translate it to its own language so if you go into your windows menu and type in about my pc once you brings up that window or a page listing you know the specs about your pc you're going to find something that has to do with gigahertz now that is how your processor speed is being calculated and displayed for you to see on your pc as a pc spec on your computer so you find something like this this is your processor speed the lower the number the slower your processor processes information into your pc if that makes sense so the higher your processor the better the pc is so it processes information or it translates while you use your pc and you do the whole thing it takes it in as fast as possible and if you ask me what is an ideal processor speed that is you know average we'll look at that in my next video guys now you must have heard somebody saying you know my pc has dual cores or my pc has hexa cores or my pc has quad cores 
now we'll say there are exactly types of processors out there but if you go on to google and type in types of processors you're going to find your results groups in sections so that you can easily understand them and you might likely find something called a single core processor or a multi-core processor but uh, you know all those kind of things it's just basically a processor with two cores is called dual cores so they also have six you can have six six which is hex and then eight which is octa cores so a pc with core i7 is supposedly expected to be faster than a pc that is on five cores which is in this case a core i5 the latest i7 chip offers up to six cores this literally means that the i7 that you know can probably be you know less functional that is they have grades of i7 so they can get an i7 with you know four cores at the same time i don't know how to do all this stuff there's also this thing called generations of pc so i don't know if you heard about that one yet but there are something called the generations on a pc now, i don't know if i should leave this one in but there was one time in my life when i went to a pc store and i went to buy a pc and they were like i should buy this pc it's 10th generation and i'm like 10th generation i don't know i don't know i don't know what that one means generation plays a huge part on the performance of your pc so it's best you know what a generation of a pc actually is generation has to do with time frame which your pc was manufactured so you can easily find the fifth sixth and seventh generation so if you find a pc that is a 10th generation or a 90th generation you just know it has to be good there are some other things i think i needed to look at in this video but i'm not going to be talking about them but i think you know just to create another excitement for the next video and screen types they have you know higher screen refresh rate there's something called refresh rate on your screen the windows version i'm going to be adding all these things in the next videos now before i continue this video i want you to have at the back of your mind that all these pc specs none of them are going to be functioning if you don't have the proper drivers installed on your pc now a driver is a piece of software that allows your pc hardware to communicate with the computer's operating system that means without the proper drivers installed on your pc your pc cannot function at all so this video should pretty much help you understand the pc specs a little bit better this is all i have for this video if you enjoyed the video don't forget to give this video a like and feel free to subscribe to this channel right now if you enjoy this content and yeah as usual i'll see you all in my next video